is our park up for the night. It couldn't have been more perfect. It's just a free park up with no services next to Lindosho Castle. I'm sure that's not the right pronunciation. We'd probably say Lindoso. Um, just gorgeous, so peaceful. Look at that view over in the distance. Tenny 360 man doing another 360 little video. Yes, there's a little castle here and then they've got all of the little grain stores which we're about to go and investigate over the back. Um, this village is known for. So we're about to go in for a little walkabout. Let's go for a walk. This is just an idyllic village. Or in the mountains. In the mountains. But now we're investigating these grain stores. Espigueras or something like that they're called. It's coming to the end, it's such a shame. And then there's these two massive boulders. Here they are. Oh well. To protect their harvest from rats and vermin. All the villagers had one of these. And they're still in use today, apparently. Good morning. It's a beautiful day. It's about, what's the temperature? 12, 13 degrees. Um, Early in the morning. It was raining last night when we pulled up. Um, but it's woken up and the next few days are going to be glorious. So uh, we've woken up and we've come to this <laughs> castle, believe it or not. But it's high up on the mountains. It's about, how high is it? About 13, 15, 14, yeah. 1500 feet up. Um, so it's quite, it's colder than obviously the view down below, but we're going to get some really nice weather over the next few days. And um, when we're in a place next to a castle, which I think you can see over our, our shoulders there, which we're just about to go and have a look at. And we're currently in a, I don't know, it looks like, it's, it's really amazing because it looks like a, a, a grain store. It looks like a graveyard, graveyard sorry. Um, but it's actually a grain store where they grow, where they, what's that, keep their grain, don't keep, they? Keep their wheat and things like that. It's yeah. free from pests and pests rodents and stuff like that but it's absolutely it's astounding it's beautiful especially on a beautiful day like this and obviously they've got little vineyards all around the for local for the vineyard verde because yeah, this is the vineyard verde area and we've come more north of the Jura and uh, which is obviously the Jura region we're now in the vineyard verde which is the green wine isn't it green right wine. on the Spanish border right on the Spanish border we are um, but yeah, it's beautiful up here, absolutely beautiful, peaceful night, it was absolutely idyllic and uh, a really good night's sleep and now we're just about to go out adventurising in this little area to bring you some more images and stuff like that, so hopefully you enjoy it. Let's go. Let's go. today at about 30 degrees so we've come away before lunchtime to try and avoid the midday heat mad dogs and Englishmen and all that uh, and yeah what a place 
Lou and Nina, you would love this place. It's straight onto the water, idyllic for canoeing, paddleboarding, etc. So perfect for you guys. And it's been it's been lovely. We've rested up for three days. Are you not talking? Rested up for three days. What have you got to say for yourself? Rested up for three days so that we can just do some washing and a bit of cleaning, that kind of thing. And Tony found this place, so yeah, it's been a good rest. You're doing well. Come oh, on, I know. Yeah, no, no, it's you normally talk. You talk. I can't get a word in edgeways. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and uh, I hope you guys can see, but we're actually standing on a, on a what is it, a jetty. Yeah. Um, we're not actually standing in the middle of the water. No. Just in case you think that we are. <laughs> I know I can walk on water. <laughs> True, yeah. you are a god. Shut up. Yeah. Uh, okay, so, um, yeah, later. <laughs>